La sangre, Dios mío, lindo. Mire, Dios mío, lindo, cómo lo... ¡Oiga, llévese en eso! ¡Oiga, llévese en eso! ¿Qué pasó? ¿Por qué dejan eso ahí? Mi padre murieron ayer a las 10 de la mañana. Por favor, miren cómo lo tengo. Lamentablemente, como tenemos nuestro cadáver aquí, ya son cinco días, ya tenemos inconvenientes con los vecinos. No hay áreas particulares, las tenemos que manejar como el gobierno. Tomamos acciones, sí, pero se necesita una logística. Most families like Cesar had to keep their loved ones' bodies at home for several days after authorities became overwhelmed by the number of dead. To protect against the smell in this tropical city, coffins are wrapped in plastic for a final farewell. While authorities claim fewer than 200 deaths from coronavirus in the whole of Ecuador, the city's morgue was overflowing. Esta es la realidad. The mayor has now announced es two emergency cemeteries in Guayaquil to cope with demand. Despite an early lockdown in February, videos by desperate families show a city in chaos. Hemos tomado la decisión de enterrarlo. Corpses kept in houses, on the street, some even abandoned. And as the frustration boils over inside, with vast levels of inequality and little investment in public health, Latin America is ill equipped to cope with the coronavirus crisis. The fear in this region now is that Guayaquil may only be the beginning.